Hey everyone, Darren Belanco, founder of OnlineThinking.net. In today's video, I'm going to show you two easy methods to set up Facebook custom conversion events on your website. Let's go have a look. The first of the two methods that I'm going to be showing you is by using the standard Facebook custom event setup tool. And the second method I'm going to be showing you is by using a WordPress plugin called Pixel Caffeine. I did cover the setup of the Pixel Caffeine plugin in a previous YouTube tutorial, and you can find the link down below for that in the description. But the first way we're going to look at is the standard Facebook event setup pixel. So what you want to do for the setup of this pixel is just head over to the Facebook Business Manager for the account that you want to set up the events for, and then just click the Events Manager link at the bottom of the left-hand menu. Now the events that we are going to be setting up today are custom events for users who land on a landing page and then when they become a lead and they complete the following form and they then land on the thank you page we want to then tell Facebook that those are the leads. Now the reason you want to do this is very very important because when you start running your paid advertising on Facebook ads you want to be able to tell Facebook what conversions to optimize your ads for and this is also important because there are different types of ads that you can run on Facebook. There are obviously ads where your goal is to generate traffic, there are ads where your goal is to generate more leads and then also finally there are ads where the main goal is to generate purchases. So the event that we are going to be setting up here today is the lead event. You'll see that we do have our pixel installed already here and we are tracking the page view and the button clicks on this landing page but we want to find out when they go through to the thank you page. So just going back to Facebook over here, once you've clicked the events link in your left hand menu, you'll then be brought through to this page over here where it says dart sources and you should see your pixel here that you have selected. If you scroll down on this page over here, you should see all of the events which are already firing on that pixel. You can see we have had some activity here for page views and view contents and add to carts etc. But now we might want to go and add a view content event or a lead event to a specific page on our website. So the way you want to go about doing that is at the top over here you will see there's a link for add events. You can click that. And then from there, you can just go and select from the pixel. Over here, you'll get the dialog, which is just saying add events using the event setup tool. And you just select open event setup tool. Over here, it's asking you for the page that you want to track the specific event on. So right now, we are going to have a look at the landing page. And the event that we also want to track on this page is a view content because this isn't just a normal page on the website it's a piece of content that we are going to be promoting quite heavily using paid advertising so we want to know that this is a piece of content and not just a normal page view on the site so what we're going to do is we're going to grab that link at the top there head over back to Facebook and you can just paste that link over there and then hit open website Facebook will open that page in another tab in your internet browser and you will see there's a dialog box that will pop up in the top left hand corner that will have some more information where we are actually going to go and set up the event on this page. And there we go, there's the box that we were looking for and you'll see here there's current events on this page and you can see all events which are being tracked on your website and you can see them from this tab over here. For now we are going to set up an event on this page. There are two options here, we can either track a button click or we can track the URL of this page. So what you want to do is just go and grab this URL up top here and you don't want to grab the entire URL, you just want to grab this last bit from the www. You can leave the HTTP or HTTPS out and you can just go and copy that and then select the track URL button. Over here you'll see there's a drop down list of all pre-populated events that Facebook has already defined for you. All you need to go and do is select the most relevant one for the event that you're trying to track. In this particular instance we are just tracking a view content because this is a landing page and this is a specific piece of content that we are going to be promoting quite heavily with paid advertising. So we're just going to go through this drop down list over here and we're going to select the view content option over there. Something very important to consider here with the URL equals option and URL contains. You do want to select the URL contains option because if you select the URL equals option, 
Facebook is going to track this exact URL. And then when you start running some paid advertising and you have UTM parameters which follow this link, that is not going to be tracked in this custom event because it's on the URL equals option. You want to select the URLs contains because then anything that follows the end of this URL is going to be tracked and this is going to be tracked as our view content event. Because this is just a landing page and we are just generating leads here, there is no specific value to this conversion that we are going to track here. So we can select the don't include value and then you hit the confirm button over there. As you can see, we'll get this little dialogue here on the bottom right saying setup complete. The view content conversion event has now been installed on the page. And you can see here events on this page. It has now been selected that this is going to be our event here. We will go back and double check this event to make sure that this is firing. But for now, we are going to move on to the next event that we are going to track. And that is going to be the thank you page for this, where we want to track where a user has become a lead and they've completed the form on our website. So for that, we are going to just head over to the next page in our funnel, which is the thank you page and the page that the user will see after they've completed the form on our landing page. So there we go, we've got the thank you page over here. Same as before, we can just grab the URL from the browser and we'll just go back to our Facebook Business Manager for the setting up of the events. And you can paste the URL in there. Might not let you paste a new one in without going back, so you can just go back, hit add event again and then go and paste the new URL that you would like to create an event for. Once again, we'll hit the Open Website button, and Facebook will then open that landing page in a new window where we can go and create the lead event. Now we have our thank you page over here with the Facebook event tool in the top left corner again, and the same procedure as before. We'll simply go and hit the Track URL button, and this event's gonna be a little bit different. We're not gonna be tracking a view content on this particular page. Here we're going to be tracking that a user has become a lead. Same as before, we are going to select the URL contains because if this does have any UTM parameters at the end of this URL, we want this page to still be tracked as a lead conversion. Again, under the value and currency option, this is a free lead magnet that we are giving away, which is a PDF. So we're gonna select the don't include value option. Hit the confirm button, and there you have it. Your event has now been set up on this page over here. We can also just go to the all events page there and double check that our events are all set up properly and you can see there's our view content event from before and there is also our brand new lead event that we have set up. Once you've now finished setting up all of the events on your website, you can then just go and hit this finish setup tool over there and then click finish. That should be it from the event setup now from the Facebook Business Manager and the Facebook event setup tool. If we want to go and test this, we can go to these pages now on the front end of our website and we should be able to start tracking all of those custom events that we have just created. And there we go, our landing page is loaded now. And you can see here by using the Facebook Pixel Helper in Chrome, we are loading four different events for this particular page. There's our standard page view event for this page. And right at the bottom here, we'll see there's our custom event that we just created for the view content event. You can see the URL that's being called as well as the location of the pixel. Now we're just gonna head over through to the thank you page just to make sure that our lead conversion event has been set up there. And we'll do the same check as we did before. We'll just go and check our Facebook Pixel Helper tool and we can see there's a page view event once again and right at the bottom here, there we are tracking our lead conversion event successfully. So there you have it for the first method using the Facebook event setup tool. However, if you are using a plugin on your WordPress website, such as Pixel Caffeine, this is also easily done right from the dashboard of your WordPress website. And that is what we're gonna have a look at now. So to do that, you're gonna go through to your WordPress dashboard and you're going to want to install the Pixel Caffeine plugin. Once again, I did do a tutorial a few weeks back covering the setup and the installation of this plugin as well as your Facebook Pixel and you can grab the link down to that below in the description. So where you want to go here in the Pixel Caffeine plugin to set up your 
custom conversion events is you're gonna to go to the conversion events tab and once the conversion and events tab has loaded over here you'll get the screen which pops up saying add new tracking here you are simply just going to label the event that you want to fire here so in this case you can just give it a name we're gonna say lead and we're gonna name this one for the specific lead magnet we're giving away which is an au pair handbook the event that you're going to track is going to be a page visit and much like Facebook over here, you'll see there's very much exactly the same options. The only reason we're naming the conversion here is because this plugin is going to list all of your conversions. So this particular name isn't going to affect the actual conversion event in any way. Same as on Facebook, we had the option to track a button event or a page visit. Here you've got the page visit option as well. Here there's also the exact and the contains metric. So over here, you'll do exactly as we did on Facebook where you go and paste your URL, but you'll select the option just to contain this part of the URL and not exactly. The conversion event we want to track is the view content event. And you'll see also from this list over here, there's a whole bunch of other options from the drop down, which were exactly the same as the ones that you saw inside the Facebook setup tool. So you can select the view content event and over here you can just leave everything set up as is. And you can then go and create tracking. This plugin will now go and install all of those relevant tracking codes and events on your website and you'll be able to then manage them from the dashboard of your WordPress website. And you'll see here, there's the active tracking code or the tracking event that's just been set up. And if we go and visit this page on the front end of our site, we should actually go and see two of these lead events now firing because we obviously set up the first event using the Facebook tool and we've now duplicated that tool with the Pixel Caffeine plugin. So you are gonna to have to choose one or the other of these setups, but you won't be using them at the same time together. And as you can see here, the view content event is the event that we actually use to set up this conversion over here. You'll see here the page visit contains and it's a view content. So that is the event that is being tracked here. And this is the one here that we created in Pixel Caffeine over there. And that's it for today, everyone. If you got value from this video, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I release videos like this each and every week.